Most kids dream of a home filled with animals. Okay, go ahead, buddy. With age, Jewel Johnson <laughs> made it a reality. She founded the rooster sanctuary at Danzig's Roost in Bennett. Like, who doesn't want to wake up to all these happy animals? It's just a blessing that they're alive. Getting older is exactly why she's here. <laughs> Hi, FP. Because going through puberty is foul, even for foul. They're just finding their voice. They're like, I am a rooster. You know, I'm here. And then everybody around, all the humans are like, oh, no. <laughs> Back in September, Johnson says she got a call about a rooster dumped near 32nd and Federal in Denver. She found a roughly four-month-old male bird near a busy street. She took him in and called him Steve. He's lucky, but it's just, it's another one. They just keep pumping him out. It's a problem that we really can't keep up with. The boom of backyard chickens has an unexpected consequence. Abandoned roosters. <laughs> because baby chicks are hard to gender. As they mature, the calls come in. It's always the same, like I said. You know, we purchased these chicks in the spring. It's August, and now he's crowing. We legally can't have them. Can you help me? Roosters are illegal in the city of Denver. So are drakes and intact goats. So when a family hoping for eggs gets a noise complaint instead, there aren't many options. Where's Jim? Jim's the peacock. The reality is the rescues can't afford to take them all in. They hope those in the city looking to farm their own food do something else. Yeah, grow a garden. <laughs> so no one has to be forced to leave home. For next, I'm Jaleesa Rosari. Jaleesa talked to another rescuer. They said certain times a year they're getting like five calls a day on this, and they expect that at least one of those five people is going to end up dumping their rooster. They're still taking in roosters, but they can't take all of the ones that are offered. People who are found with a rooster in the city of Denver are likely to get a citation.